The heat is on, but it could be killing your car. Yeah, I think it's tough on you. Yeah. Car is struggling as well. Our Monday morning mechanic, David Rogers, from Keller Brothers Auto Repair, with us live this morning to explain what the heat does to vehicles. Hi, David. Hey, you are so right. The heat could be killing your car, and it probably is. Um, I have some stuff here that has just been flat destroyed as a result of all this heat and of the fact that still many of you are not changing your antifreeze. We also call antifreeze coolant because it cools the engine. And the way it cools the engine is by some help of a water pump. Water pumps have these little impellers on them, and they're supposed to turn. You can see that one doesn't want to very much. Um, you can also see a little bit of rust starting here and some things going on. Now, you couldn't see that because that would be inside the car, and you just have a belt out here spinning this. This is one of those things that you need a technician to assist you with unless you're going to take it off and have a little perusal yourself. Um, a water pump basically sits behind your timing belt and it spins. And this little thing here will flush the water. A belt usually travels on the pulley and this will move the water around through your entire engine and your cooling system. And when you don't take care of your coolant, this is what happens. The little impeller just destroyed. The plastic comes apart inside. And then, of course, you can see that even if the belt was turning on the outside, that's not cooling anything down and could cause a serious overheat. A serious overheat is going to take about 100,000 miles off the life of your engine. Some other things that you'll see happen are hoses, you know. This hose is all swollen. You can see how it's fatter here than it is over here. And you can see the rust and the junk inside. Well, that's from not changing the coolant. And again, you're looking at hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, because you can destroy an engine like that. Hoses can look normal on the outside and on the inside be just completely coming apart. Another thing I'll warn you about that you can check yourself out there before you get on the road are, are your belts. Look at this belt. You can see the cracking going on inside there. That cracking's a big no-no. You're almost guaranteed to be on the side of the road. Today's belts cover not only the cooling system, but they also cover your steering system. And nobody but nobody wants to have a belt problem. Now, you know, I brought my trusty little test tubes today because I wanted to show you this coolant situation. You know, typical coolant either is green or red, but it looks nice and clear and it's pretty like that. Well, this one looks almost the same. You know, you really couldn't see a difference in your cooling system's bottle. But down at the bottom of the engine and the water pump, Sometimes that's where the rust is, and it sits down there, and lo and behold, you know, it might not m wash it back up into the bottle, but look at that. See, this, this coolant looks just fine from a glimpse, but it's actually really in there eating all the metal apart. And here's what it turns into after it's been in there for a month or so like that. Now, what happens, you say? Why is that coolant condition so important to my car? It seemed fine yesterday. Well, let me show you. This is scaling. See, this is a piece of metal. It's a radiator. It shouldn't have anything white on it, all this white, crusty stuff. That stuff's going to break up, and when it does, it's going to come loose, and it's going to get inside of things like that water pump I showed you or like your thermostat, which is responsible for letting the uh, coolant flow through the system when the temperatures are reached. When those little white chunky pieces get inside there, it gets stuck and it doesn't work. So what I'm here to tell you today, I mean, you don't care about all these parts. And frankly, you know, I prefer not to ever have to look at them. So if I could just have your car come down and change your coolant or have you go to any shop with a certified technician and get that changed, you're going to be avoiding all these thousands of dollars worth of problems. And Maybe never in your life have to have the displeasure of buying an engine. Boy, I always know you're serious when when the gloves go on and the test tubes come out. <laughs> uh, that's when we seriously pay attention. Well, I heard it was time for a physical talk, so I'll be up shortly. <laughs> you got my attention. All right, nice. thanks, David.